Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the greatest way to get steel and lead inside Fallout 76 or the best way to get steel and lead inside Fallout 76. Uh, this is the best method I have found so far. We're going to be collecting steel and lead by way of tin cans. Uh, so let's go ahead and get straight into this guide. All right, guys, where you're going to want to come to get your steel inside Fallout 76 is a place called Top of the World, located right here on your map. For those of you who need Vault 76 reference, here it is, way over here. So once you're at top of the world, it will look a little something like this. And what you're going to want to do is just follow the path I take here. Now keep in mind, you could do this at any level. This is a very super simple guide for beginners and intermediate players and advanced players to get a lot of steel and lead inside Vault 76. Once you're at the top of the world and you're kind of in this area, come over to this cabin right here. And you guys are simply going to want to disarm these tin cans and go ahead and take them. Now keep in mind there will be enemies here from time to time. In fact, there's always enemies here. So just kind of sneak around if you have to, if you don't want to engage with those enemies. Some of them are a pretty high level, just to give everyone advance warning. Now once you guys take those steel cans off the thing, um, they'll give you about nine tin cans each, by the way, once you disarm those traps. Simply come on over here and you're now ready to scrap your items. If we go ahead and go into junk, we could tell that we got tin cans like I said, we got 9 for each trap, 9 times 3 is 27, and if we look at the tin cans here at the bottom, we see the item stats, steel 2, and lead 1. So that means just by doing this super simple little thing here, uh, if we look, we get a total of 54 steel and 27 lead. Now, if you do this, maybe you could probably earn about maybe 300, maybe about 500 every 10 minutes if you keep on just doing this over and over. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, log out and log back in to show you guys that these actually respond. Now, keep in mind, if you log out and log back in and they aren't there, don't worry. Just keep on doing it over and over. There have been a few times where I've, I have tried it and it hasn't been there for me either. So keep in mind, they do spawn there, but other people take them um, or maybe they just don't spawn in that time. A number of reasons why they may not be there. So all you really have to do is kind of uh, load up and lo log out and uh log back in and I'll show you guys uh, that this does work all right guys you could tell now we're back at the top of the world near that apartment and the cans have respawned all we have to do is simply walk up to them and grab them again now keep in mind there might come times when uh, they kind of glitch out and you count and grab them however if that happens just simply restart the server that's something I also ran into uh, while doing this but no matter the situation, if you restart the server, they'll kind of always spawn in a fresh set of cans. And last but not least, obviously, come over here to your crafting station. Um, go into your junk and go ahead and scrap your tin cans. Uh, and that's how you guys get a lot of steel and lead inside Fallout 76. I hope you guys did enjoy this guide. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. I make Fallout 76 guides, guides of all kinds, shapes and size, weapon guides, armor guides, fusion core location guides, power armor location guides, any guide that you could think of, I will either be making or have already made for this channel, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like, comment, and subscribe for that type of content, as well as Fallout 76 talk videos to come way later on down the road. Anyways, love you all, hope to see you guys in the next one, but until then, remember to stay freaky, and bye bye everybody, thanks for watching.